The scene in Egypt after Mubarak has been gone for one year. There is political confusion, fury over military rule, during which dozens of lives have been taken in demonstrations, and constant pilgrimages to Tahrir Square. To talk about this, the deputy editor-in-chief of the newspaper Al Ahram, Dr. Said Alawindi, joins us from Cairo. Dr. Said, the trial of President Mubarak began seven months ago, and yet hearings have been repeatedly postponed. Do you believe the intention to try him is serious? Of course, we always knew the Mubarak trial would take a long time, because Egyptian courts take time. But in order to answer for people's anger and to move on from the crisis, his role must be judged, condemned. The country now is being ruled by the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces. What is in store for Egypt? Mubarak fell, but the regime stays. Do you think Egypt needs another revolution? Regarding the so-called military rule, I think it is very difficult to accept living under military rule again. Mubarak was a military man, Sadat was also, and so was Gamal Abdel Nasser. The Egyptian people are fed up with military rule and are extremely reluctant to accept it. Prime Minister Kamal al Janzouri has said that military rule will end on the 30th of June. Egypt has a new parliament now, but three quarters of its members are Islamists. How will Egypt push forward into democracy and civil society? Well, the Islamic movement is prevalent regionally, and don't forget, the Egyptians voted for the so-called Freedom and Justice Party, which is the political wing of the Muslim Brotherhood, and they have the majority. We're not afraid of Islamist rule. Why? Only the West worries about it. Western powers are concerned about the Islamists. They warn us the former president used to say it's either me or chaos the Muslim Brotherhood. We are not afraid because we're Muslims and we know the issues well. Islam is a fear figure for the West, but not for us, the Egyptian people. One last question, Doctor, briefly. Where is Egypt headed? That's a difficult question, because it's very crucial to know what Egypt is aiming for. There are many parties, a new world, new values ruling us. I think we have to be optimistic about tomorrow and believe the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces when they say they'll go back to their barracks at the end of June, and that the government must be a civilian government by the will of the people. شكرا جزيلا لك شكرا